either way then we can see it going down and coming up still got a little bit of time yet to do it if they don't then I'll be back on the phone later making yet another complaint now the lake you can see in front of us that's the Tallylin Lake it's a large glacial, glacial river lake it's formed by post-glacial massive landslip and damming up the valley going around that shortly. Well, we're heading down towards Tallinn Lake now and beside Cader Idris. <laughs> Last time I was here was May 1967. We went up the other way in a snowstorm. I just had to slip this view in again because and others may disagree but to me it says to me this is Wales Cymru and it's the classic view looking down the valley towards a lake And as you'll see from later films, it's totally different to Scotland. Well, you'll understand why when you see later. Looking back up from St. Alexlin up to the Cadre Edges Pass where we just were. <laughs> I was last there, I think I said, didn't I? 1967. I was 14 years old, it was May, and it was snowing hard. Oh, there's a lovely blue damselfly down there. But I don't know. Ooh, there's two of them. I don't know if I can get close enough to, to film them. Lovely. 
lovely colours. I'm taking potluck there, and they've gone down on the water. Oh, there it comes up. There it goes. Yep, I've got him. Her, it. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Lovely crystal clear water. Now that is very lovely for you. Abergan Olwyn Station. Locomotive number seven, Tom Rock. <laughs> it's back all the way up here. Yeah. It's a lovely station. Wonder he's not going anywhere. Somebody's got to come and set the points for him. It's not so much now knowing the rule book like you used to have to. Yeah. It's basically a question of knowing where to go in the rule book to find an answer to yeah. the problem. That's the way they look at it now because yeah. they finally realised if you've got a 400 page rule book you cannot expect a member of staff to remember no, 400 pages of rule book. That's right, yeah. Bad enough when you're on the railway to walk off. Well, where's the missus gone now? <laughs> anyway, take a good photo. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, the point's been set, all we need is a loco. Perfect timing. <laughs> Ambient coast uh, train to Pacelli. I'll take this mask off. Yes, Cambrian coast train to Pacelli going by. 
couldn't have timed that better. Yeah. He built up too nice a fire there. Had to release the pressure. Okay. There it is. Two in water station. Coastal run. Of course, following the train line uh, that would have left at uh, Towin, it goes all the way to Fairbourne and then into um, where are we? Barmouth. <laughs> so we pretty much follow the line. You can see the line to the left of us. Pretty much follow that uh, all the way to the estuary. Then we are veer off to the right. See the golden sandy beaches over there in the distance. That's where we were yesterday. Yeah, it's <laughs> Always amazes me when you come along places like this, you do see Dennis just pointed out the ruins of that old building there and they just get left don't they? they just, they've been built and they've been left to uh, rot over the years and they rather than do anything with it or try and do anything with it they just stand there and uh, there's not a lot left of some of them now but uh, it's, it's only stand the test of time. Evidence here of past settlements, and I suppose the walls might at one time have been, if you like, property boundaries. Presumably, they were very small, small holdings, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. Uh, but remarkable survivors, and nowadays, of course, I suppose they're field boundaries. But one thing I love about this part of the Welsh coast is the views. This is the northern end of Ceredigion Bay. And if you come along here at the right time of the year, you can see whales, porpoises, seals, wonderful. Looking right across there towards Pentlean. Lovely day for a drive. My apologies that I couldn't spend enough time at the Talaclin Railway. As you must appreciate on a coach tour, you've got whatever time the driver allows you and you have to make the most of it. But I'm hoping I've put enough bits together to make this an enjoyable little video.
Those cones weren't there, I was going to stop so, uh, to give you a photo opportunity. I might be able to hear. Uh, yeah, we're going to stop here. Two reasons. One, you can get a lovely photo, and two, it stops all the cars behind me getting annoyed with me and start <laughs> throwing things and showing at me. But here's a lovely little place to stop for another photo op if you want one. Thank you, Graham. Lovely opportunity for a photo stop here and some lovely photographs possible. Wonderful atmosphere. One of the things about travelling on coaches and trying to film out the coach window in trying to avoid reflection, sometimes you get the pillars of the coach windows in without realising it, and I'm sorry about that. The trouble is, once it's done, I can't exactly go back and get rid of it, can I? Anyway, we're looking over Bar uh, over Fairbourne, which I've spoken about before, towards Abermell, Barmouth. And at this point we're coming down onto the lower ground and we turn right and we got the southern side of the Melvach Estuary, past the delightfully preserved station of Penmine Pool. 
more of which later. There's the bridge to the left there. Have a little look at that. Do you reckon we can get on that? Yeah. As we move off, take a look to the right of the building and you will see the preserve station and its signal box. It's a lovely place. I'll take the coach over it. How many want me to? How many don't want me to? No, we're not going to. There is actually, I think they've changed the sign this side. The sign here says uh, 1.5 tonne. Uh, no vehicles over 1.5 tonne. But coming from the other direction,